some good soup. That's the oatmeal. Today we're doing a review of the Ozark Trail food jar on a kayak. What's going on everybody? Today we're looking at this food jar by the Ozark Trail. And it is the appropriate time to do so because it is raining out. And uh, I do have a poncho on. So we're gonna, I microwaved this about half an hour ago. We'll see how well it stays with the heat. The outside temperature of it is still cold to the touch. So hopefully it's retaining the heat inside. I've got my spoon with me. The only thing it did not come with was this tinsel to eat with. I'm just kind of drifting here at the moment and enjoying the rain. I will probably get up here on the bank here for a second and dive into this old mill before checking out into the rain. A lot of times you won't see anything over here. It might be some raccoons and whatnot, but uh, generally there's nothing hardly ever here. So I may just pull up the kayak up here and sit and eat and see how things go. This food jar is kept at piping hot. That's uh, maple and brown sugar oatmeal. God, it's, it's good to enjoy. I mean, half an hour later and it's still blazing hot. So it does its job for what I wanted to do. I sit here and eat the rest of this and then enjoy my rest of my paddle. So I got half of this eight. I'm gonna do another part test of it and see we paddle down. I think it's about half an hour, go down. And we'll see how warm the food still is. I do have a chance of holder. It's just not as convenient as it couldn't be. Right now, it's just dripping from the trees. Um, there's all kinds of rain on the radar. I got my toboggan on, basically my little ski hat, just to cover my ears up so I don't want to hear any needs. Obviously, there's not going to be people on the trail. 
Uh, we're going to scoot down here just a little ways to give this time to cool off some more, which has less volume. And then do it another test, see what happens. I'm probably going to be hit that little white bridge down there. Right, that little crane right there. He's not a little, he's big. Um, crane, hearing, hearing, is it a great hearing? I don't know what it is. Let's see him in real quick. He's a cool bird. I'm going to leave him alone. He's going to be like, mm, I don't like to. And I'm like, you know, I'm gonna get over here, don't pick me in the head. I just wanna observe. You skidding bird, aren't ya? Hi. You eating? Eating some good soup? Yeah, but then that's to scare you off, huh? Yeah. That's cool. All the way down the straight little line. Nice. All right, let's keep going. We made it to the rail bridge. This is what this is, it's a railroad bridge. And it's about time to check this guy again, the fruit jar, see how I like it. You know, if you're on a trip and you cook before you, you head out and you store food in there, say you have a couple of them, two, three, that's all you need. For a good meal for the next for your next stop, and you just cook along your way. That's that'd be that'd be ideal. Always have piping food when you get to the next location, and then you just cook after you get done eating, and then just head on out. I like this idea. This might be a trade I'm going to be getting into soon. I know I got to duck. I got to duck. Get out of the spider webs. But I, that has some potential, I think. You can still see that that's piping hot. You can see the steam coming off of that. Nice. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Almost as hot as it was before. Might be a degree or two cooler. Almost un unbearable. So, $13, $14 at Walmart. Or wherever you want to buy it. future this is gonna be uh, for soups it's gonna be for oatmeal grits whatever it's gonna be some good soup <laughs> like the meme it'll be some good time and it's been another 30 minutes so about two hours this thing's still been piping hot you can see the steam come off of it so yeah good enough for my boat that's all i needed for thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time